Hey guys, I'm Justin with CBI Off-Road and today we're going to set this Colorado up to take a beating. That's right, we're going to be installing a full set of steel skid plates on this rig. Let's dive into the install. Okay, so the first step to this process is removing the factory skid plates. So we've already removed the front skid to install our bumper, but you can see it just bolted into these two mounting holes and these three mounting holes back here. Um, these are all 15 millimeter bolts and make sure you hang on to them because you'll need them to reinstall your CBI skids. And also this uh, transfer, transfer case skid will need to come down as well. Again, 15 millimeter bolts. Gotta use your head. <laughs> All right, so now we're starting the installation process. Um, you wanna start with the second skid back from the front. Um, the reason for that is this is recessed so that the front skid plate kind of keys into this second piece. So when you install these bolts, uh, maybe put them about halfway in so that your front skid is able to slide underneath these washers and that's what's gonna secure it on the back. And then you're gonna grab your front two factory holes for the front. All right, so the front two are up. The next step is installing the furthest um, back skid plate. So in order to do this, um, you're gonna need to drill out this hole. It's, it's already drilled on the bottom, but we need to go all the way through so we can get a carriage bolt through. And this cross member, it's right near the muffler and it's on the passenger's side. So I'm just using a half inch drill bit to allow room for our carriage bolt and we'll just go straight through. Okay, so the next piece to go up is gonna be the furthest to the back after the front two go on. And this one we're gonna to need to drill a couple holes in the cross member. Um, the holes are already drilled on the underside. We just need to have them go all the way through so we can capture it with our carriage bolt. So we've already drilled this one all the way through. Now we need to do the driver side and it's gonna be this the largest hole in this cluster. So I have a half inch drill bit. We'll just go through with that. Okay, so we got the rear skid up into place and this one, if you're by yourself, you're gonna wanna get a buddy or a neighbor to help you get it into place. It's really heavy and it's a lot of area to cover. So we use this jack to kind of get it in place. Um, basically these two tabs need to slide over this body mounted tube. You don't need to remove these lines. Just be careful as you're sliding it up on that you don't damage them. And then you're capturing it in the front with our carriage bolts that we drill the holes for. Now you also need to install these clip nuts on these four holes here to allow the next skid plate to bolt in. The clip nuts will be installed on the third skid plate on the front side.
Okay guys, we just finished installing this full set of skid plates on this Colorado. They look fantastic the way they all key together. They're super strong. Uh, thanks for watching. If you got any questions, leave a comment below. Thank you.